Hey guys. So, there's a Reddit mystery, going back quite a bit actually, eight years, called Lake City Quiet Pills. There are two really interesting things about it. One is it's never been solved. So, you know, it's an unexplained, unsolved mystery. That's pretty fascinating in of, uh, in of itself. The other interesting thing about it is that it is widely thought to be a cover for real life assassinations. Let's get into it. So, the Lake City Quiet Pills are thought to be a group of men and women carrying out assassinations through online channels. Others think they could be former military or contractors who like to keep in touch through unorthodox ways. Others think it could just be a long running hoax. Let's get into it and see what you think. So, where did the name Lake City Quiet Pills come from? It's the domain name, lakecityquietpills.com, of a now defunct website called That Old Guy's Image Host. So, it begins with a Redditor who's dead called Religion of Peace. Who is he? Did he run Lake City Quiet Pills? Religion of Peace, also referred to as Milo or Dutch, is at the center of the mystery. And he's dead. He died. He was a moderator of the controversial subreddit, Jailbait. So you know he's a creep. And he was the operator of LakeCityQuietPills.com, a image hosting website of questionable nature. He was the moderator of a subreddit called Jailbait. Similar content was on Lake City Quiet Pills. And the mystery of who he was and Lake City Quiet Pills started with two events. One, a notice of his death was posted. And then later, someone found strange messages hidden in the HTML of his website, Lake City Quiet Pills. And so that's where the mystery began. So, to sum up, a dirty old bastard who went by the username Religion of Peace, he was a moderator of the now shut down subreddit Jailbait. And he also ran a website, LakeCityQuietPills.com. That website is now shut down, so uh, is the subreddit. Both are of questionable nature. Porn. And when someone went to check out the coding of Lake City Quiet Pills, they found what appeared to be messages. Messages that sound like details for hitmen and assassination notices. The person who posted Religion of Peace's death notice, 2-6, never posted on Reddit again. But he did show where he dispensed Religion of Peace's ashes, so... That's nice. So, when the hidden messages were discovered in the coding, as you can imagine, Reddit went wild. People started making connections. Lake City could be a reference to a US government-owned ammunition operation called the Lake City Army Ammunition Plant, LCAAP, is the largest producer of small arms ammunition for the US government and is a NATO national and regional test center, which might mean that a quiet pill was a bullet. And they started finding hints that back that up. Looking through Religion of Peace's comments, he was either a weekend warrior, telephone tough guy, or he had actually seen some shit. His comment history on Reddit, it's mainly porn, real wars, serial killers, coding, and more porn. He also hates religion. All religions. But then some of his other comments, you can start to see links between what was on the coding of the website.
Here is a post by Religion of Peace, giving some in-depth knowledge on the best way to dispose of a dead body. His eulogizing friend, 2-6, had posted on another site, FARC, that he dispensed Lake City Quiet Pills to people in need of permanent rest. That was posted in 2001, eight years before 2-6 posted again about religion of peace dying. So 2-6, also called Angel 2-6, was obviously friends with religion of peace and did they run Lake City Quiet Pills together? Well, that's the conspiracy. Is this a joke, the longest running joke in history? Or is this real? Is he advertising hitman contracts on a sniper board? A whole conspiracy about a group of hired killers grew. One that might have been paranoia or might have been a group of people falling for a hoax. But the story became eerily relevant about six months later. A Hamas commander was assassinated in his hotel in Dubai, and the assassins, investigators reported, had been funded with credit cards from a bank in Lake City. And Religion of Peace had commented a number of times, saying he had worked in Israel with defense forces. Here are another couple of posts by Angel26 discussing torture techniques. Even other people are a bit disgusted by this. Another post by Angel26 is regarding networking. Is this the beginning of figuring out the best way to send messages regarding assassination contracts? What Lake City Quiet Pills would eventually become the cover for? And the meaning behind Angel26's name? Let's go back and look at the messages hidden in the code. On the no-fly list, presumably people who have been arrested and are not allowed to fly. Not surprising that potential hitmen may be getting arrested for other illegal activities. 12th of March 2010, an advertisement for a four-man job. After Religion of Peace died, by the way. It was still being run after his death. Angel 26, others. After that, it's advertisements for more jobs. Dutch Milo thanks his buddies for making him proud. Ominously, the sentence shortly after that, the phones there are not secure. On the 17th of July 2009, we see a post announcing Milo died. Matching when Religion of Peace died. It matches up with everything posted on Reddit. So who is posting this? Angel26? I think there's more involved than just him. Shortly after that, we see four English French needed for private security for a cruise. It actually sounds like there could be at least three others involved in this. Shade, whoever that is. Angel we've met. And whoever is doing the writing. I'm going to disappoint you now, because that's really all we have on the Lake City Quiet Pills at present date. After that it becomes more conjecture and people will begin to reach a bit. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to it if you would like to research it yourself.
Though, if more information becomes available, I'll probably make a follow-up video. And let's get back into this. So, what do you guys think? Is it just some old guys messing around? Or is this actually a method contract killers use to communicate? The website, LakeCityQuietPills.com, is shut down, so they're obviously, they can't communicate using that way. But, is there another website out there? Another cover? They're using to talk through? Probably. Let's be honest. It never actually says anything directly about killing, but yeah, would it if it was real? As always, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Mike out.